Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Learn Scratch Learn. Today we'll learn about a small project named Dancing Cat. The objective of this project is to learn the following code blocks. Events, the looks blocks, the motion block, control block, and we'll also learn about sprite. In this case, we'll just work with the cat sprite and the various sprite costumes and how do we intershuffle between them and how do we use it in the program and we'll also learn about how do we change backgrounds in our code this is how the final code snippet is going to look like and we will now start coding this line item by line item all right so this is our project window you can get to that by logging into scratch.mit.edu either you can continue with a guest or log in with your own id and then you click on file and new and this window should pop up this is our project space and the sprite in discussion is the cat sprite now first thing first let's change the background which you can click on the right side and get to the background you want to choose i will be choosing this concert background it's a nice background so now we have the nice background in our project work i'll move the sprite to the first location here and what we'll do is we'll make this as a dancing cat so the cat would take few steps here and then it will move this side now we'll see how many costumes are available for the cat so you select the cat sprite then go to the costumes window and you see right now there are two costumes available so if you click on them and you oscillate between these two costumes it would look like the cat is dancing and right now if you see the cat is looking towards the right when the cat gets to this position we would like that the cat faces towards left so what we can do is we can keep the name for these costumes let's say as right one because this is facing towards the right and this is this is right two and what we'll do is we'll just duplicate these sprites and i'll tell you why we are duplicating it pretty soon so we have this and then i think yeah so this and this cool so now we will change the name of this sprite to left three left one sorry and the other one to left two but still they face to the right so what we can do is we can select the whole sprite by clicking your left mouse button and then do a flip horizontal same thing we can do is select the whole sprite and flip it horizontally so now we have the four sprites if you see this dances like this and this one's dancing like that now, pretty cool so far now let's go back to the code block and always we'll start with the events block first which is like when event click and we'll also learn about a new block in control called repeat so in this repeat block if you see this says repeat 10 times so repeat the whatever we'll code in the next set of sections 10 times so first thing first what we'll do we'll go to the looks block and switch to costume left two so right now it is left one we'll switch to left two then probably we will wait for some time wait should be in the control block i believe yep so we go to the wait block and then we again switch costumes to left one now and then again wait for some time and let's see how this block looks so just to see how this block looks you can just select the whole block and click on this window oh sorry i think we need to change this to right one and this one to right two so that at least it oscillates yeah now you can see that the cat is oscillating looking towards the right to increase the frequency of this oscillation we can make this maybe like less than a little half second yeah let's see how does it look like now perfect so now you can see that cat is dancing the way we want and it will dance it 10 times and then the pro program will stop now next thing what we want is cat to move here after doing these 10 steps and then keep doing the same oscillation so for that what we can do is we can drag the cat and place it right here or wherever you want the cat to face and then let's look at these x and y coordinates so on a graph this is the x axis horizontally and vertically we have the y axis so this new location of the cat is x 116 and y minus 53 so what we can do is we can do motion and we can place this go to block 
So with that, the cat goes towards this right side. But, but what we need to do is we need to change the costume to, so we'll go to the looks block and we will change the costume to left one so, so that we start with the correct one. And then probably let's do the repeat block again. So we can put go back to control. We put the repeat 10 times. We switch the costume. We'll keep, probably just keep it left one for now. And let's take left one. And then we'll do wait, which was part of the control block. Then we'll do again switch. Then again wait. So now we have our we have the left one left two ready let's just reduce the seconds here as well so that we really it really looks like the cat is dancing fast all right so let's start from here so you see another problem that wherever we left the sprite last it just started from there so to fix this what we need to do it, it did a clean transition so to fix this what we'll do is we'll go to the motion block and let's place the sprite here so that whenever we click the flag wherever we last left the sprite it always comes back to this so we have this x minus 123 minus 46 so you can just pick this block if you don't see those coordinates you can always enter the same so like you can select the whole selection and just type minus 123 and 46 so now let's see how it goes perfect so whenever i click the flag the cat starts from here it will do the 10 step dance and then it will move here it will do the 10 step dance and then it will stop now what if we want this just to finish just to keep on happening every time and not just finish in one cycle what would be the loop block which we can use yes that's correct if you answered forever so we can put in a forever block right after this and if you see now the cat will keep on dancing from left to right right to left left to right right to left now if you want to add a sound to that we can do that as well very well so you go to the sound block or first you can select the sound which you want so right now it is having the sound meow if you don't like it you can add more sounds by clicking on that bell button so let's see which one we didn't like yeah maybe let's just pick the bass just just since this is for learning and we'll delete the meow one we go back to the code we go to this sound and we'll just say start sound whenever we get into this repeat block and then we'll just say stop all sounds and we'll just repeat the same here we'll just start all sounds and we'll just do stop all sounds before exiting this repeat block or probably it should be right after this perfect so let's see how it looks like you know we have the cat dancing we have the sound coming looks we have coded the project pretty well if you want to stop you can just click here on stop and it will stop the project this is how the final code looks like look forward to your review and comments or any feedback please feel free to drop your messages in the video comment section below or always you can write back to me at learnscratchlearn at gmail.com until next time i'm signing off i hope you found this project interesting thank you and bye bye